Okay, so I decided to uh, make a little video. I started raising another species of butterfly, the black swallowtail. And these are pieces of carrot plants. And all the little black dots are the feces of newly hatched caterpillars. They were on these, actually there's one here that you can still see, an egg. Sorry for the shaking, I'm in super macro here. It's so tiny. Just to give you a, a, an idea, I'll put my finger close. <laughs> That's how tiny these eggs are. This one is about to hatch. And I have a couple that were uh, hatching today. This is, <laughs> I've been working and trying to get with a tiny little brush to get the babies off these drying plants and put them on nice new foliage. And uh, I'm gonna try to find one right here, right there. So you see that little caterpillar with the saddle? That was just hatched in the last 24 hours. Now it's starting to chew on carrot foliage. There's another one here. Right now they're mostly black with a little saddle, but they'll uh, they'll get fat quite fast. I have 11 of them, although I'm not sure if I still have 11, but I had 11 eggs, and I just transferred a couple of uh, of caterpillars. So, whoops, one decided to go on a stem there. So we'll see. I was able to focus. Uh, Still quite shaky. I want to show you the size of these two little caterpillars by bringing the tip of a of a of a ball pen beside them, a sharpie. That just goes to show how small they are. They have that little saddle on their back right now. They seem to not like each other's presence. but they're very vigorous for two millimeters critters that were hatched during the night. Let's see how they're gonna do. I repeat, they're feeding on foliage of carrot. They can be raised on dill, on Queen's Anne's lace, and other plants. Just a little note, uh, if you're trying to raise caterpillars, uh, it's a good thing to get some very fine little brushes this one is even big for baby caterpillars. It's very soft. And what you do in order to, because of course you can't pick them up with a tweezer or with your fingers. So you just go beside them and you, you kind of roll, you roll the little brush close to them and one or two bristles will pick up the, the caterpillar and you'll be able to put it back on the foliage. And here, as you can see, I have uh, little balls of, uh, of, of paper uh, absorbent paper that are soaked with water in order to keep my, my foliage, my little branches of foliage intact. Later on, I'll put them on a, on a bigger plant than that. Actually, what I'm planning to do with these guys, I'm going to bring in a carrot in a pot so the, the plant will be alive and it's, it's going to be much easier to feed the big caterpillars. But when they're that small, you want to be able to pick them up when you find them on the edge of the containers uh, basically, when they're not on the foliage, you want to pick them up and put, put them back. I've had a lot of uh, small caterpillars just trying to find foliage and ending up dying. Uh, not a lot, but it, that, that will happen. So, uh, and you just, uh, you can use a container like that. Right now, these are all caterpillars. My eggs are here, and for the eggs, I never put a cover. I put a, a netting like this, because you don't want to have plant material and eggs in the same container, plant material will create CO2 and will choke the eggs, will kill them. So here, uh, there's no problem, there's only uh, babies. And basically what I often do is leave a little crack in my container, uh, depending if you're, if you're around and you're, you can check making sure that none of them escape, uh, you'll be fine. You can also pierce a couple of holes in a container like that and put it on the top to make sure that they don't get out and let them grow. Uh, a good size before you uh, you transfer them from foliage <clears throat> in a container like this. Of course, there's going to be some droppings. You want to keep that clean. 
uh, just like for any other animals. Yeah, just another little piece I want to add. I just uh, whipped up a cover for my container with a piece of, uh, of netting. Uh, I put a tape at one end so it's easy to, to kind of put tension in it. You know, I'll be able to put tension in it and then easily be able to put a, uh, an elastic around to be able to, uh, to keep that tightly closed. So as you can see, when the elastic is around the container, it's tightly uh, sealed all around. You make sure that you don't have little ripples that the caterpillars can get under the net. Uh, and then you're making, you're making sure that they're going to stay in the container.